up guys, Viper FPV here, and uh, today I have the uh, Joshua Bardwell F4 all-in-one flight controller. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an overview of what this uh, board has, and then just go over what its features are. Um, I'm going to do a part two video, and it's going to show you how to um, how I'm going to wire up Crossfire, and then just kind of show you the general, um, just how it looks, and any issues that I might have had after I hooked it all up. So going into here and uh, I'm going to start from the top left um, so hopefully you can read what it has here kind of focus on the camera um, so we have ESC plus then we have the signal for the ESC then ground for the uh, ESC and then ESC ground again uh, for the actual power leads and then moving up top here on the top rail uh, we have cam C so that is what you'll hook up your um, OSD from your camera out of um, that's what will control all your uh, camera functions, like you can do brightness, sharpness, and all that type of stuff inside your camera. Um, and then going on to the Cam S, that is actually your video out from your camera. Uh, and then we have a 9 volt regulator right here, and then we have a ground pad. And an interesting thing is that Joshua Bardwell decided to use 9 volt regulators instead of the 12 volt. Um, as you know, 9 volts gets more filtering opposed to 12 volts. So that's why he decided to go down with the 9 volts. Because most components, most uh, VTXs and uh, uh, even I think FrySky receivers even run at 9 volts. So it shouldn't be a problem. Um, now moving down here we have a dedicated telemetry pad. Then we have SBUS for all the uh, you know XSRs and uh, RXSR uh, receivers. Even uh, if you want to run iBus that's where you would hook it up at. And then we have the option here on the next pad, 3.3 volts or uh, 5 volts. And uh, that's for if you have a spectrum receiver, all those spectrum uh, receivers, satellite receivers, do use 3.3 volts. Um, and when we get to the back of the board, I'll show you how to dis how do you can uh, pick either 3 volts or 5 volts. Um, and then we have uh, a UART 6 right next to here. And as you'll notice, too, um, you don't see a, a, a transmit 6 uh, because the S bus pin is out on... Is I guess technically your transmit six, but you're using it as because it has an inverter on it. Um, and then we have the basic ESC hookups right here. And then um, same thing on the bottom left. We have the ESCs right here to hook them up. And then moving on top of here, um, we have an LED pin. And then we have the ground. And then we have receive uh, UART four right here. Buzzer minus. Uh, buzzer positive. And then we have our video um, out, uh, so that'll be coming out from the OSD. This will be what you hook up your VTX to uh, for the yellow wire, usually that's what it is. And then we have the 9 volt um, pin here, the regulator. I believe the regulator on this board is uh, 1.3 or 1.5 amps. Um, so you have to look into that. Um, and then we have a ground, and we have transmit 4. Um, and then we have the ESC. Uh, hookups right here again and then the USB cables on the side as you notice the it's front facing right this way now flipping the board over we do have a SD card slot for for a black box then we have the uh, let's put it this way so that you guys can read it and then we have the uh, bat plus so these are the main power leads going into the board and then, like I said there's an SD card here we have a five volt and a uh, five volt regulator here. So I guess if you want to hook up something extra for five volts and a ground, you can do that there. And then we have um, this is where you would switch it on the board. Remember in the front it said either five, three point three volts or five. You would bridge these two with a piece of uh, solder, either doing the three volts or the five volts to the middle pin. So that's middle pin's ground. Um, so that I means that's about um, and I'll, another feature here too is it has the rubber gummies. On all corner on the corners, and this does use the uh, Sailor Racing F4 uh, target and beta flight. So if you wanted to flash it to the newest hardware, um, other than that, um, that pretty much wraps up this. Uh, looking here at this board, uh, any questions you do have, um, leave them in the comments, and remember to subscribe and uh, like my video, and uh, you'll see part two coming in and out, and I'll kind of show you guys how I hook everything up because I am going to be hooking up Crossfire, and uh, it does look like it'll make it a little difficult to compile with these that LED pin for a uh, soft serial port. Uh, but like I said, stay tuned and uh, see you guys later.